Oh wait, it's getting real, okay. Hi, welcome to Hog Huddle. I'm Isabel Labrada. And I'm Miles West. And tonight we're here on a beautiful Friday night to watch Arkansas High Razorbacks play against Camden Fairview Cardinals. It is a really pretty night out tonight. Uh, the sun, you can tell, is obviously there. Uh, it's, it's in our eyes. It's, it's, yeah. hard to, it's hard to look forward. Definitely, for sure. That's why I've got this hat on. But uh, it, should <laughs> be, hat. Yeah, it should be a really good night, and uh, we're excited to play some football. We are. Tonight we're going to be talking about the past couple of games, how those went, and all the events of those nights, especially the game against El Dorado. And then we're also going to be talking about expe expectations for tonight's game and the players we want you all to keep y'all's eyes on. Yeah, we also have guest interview Anaya Arnold coming on here tonight to talk about her softball performances um, with Jewel Smart and Elena Black. Yes, yeah, she's a spectacular athlete, and I'm looking forward to watching that interview go. But let's just get straight into it and talk about our game versus El Dorado. That was an eventful night, to that say really the least. Was, really was. Uh, we did lose that game 42 to 20, but it was very eventful. The power went out. The, the power went out, and it, it was, it, the game went on forever. I mean, it felt like it went on forever. It was like every time we turned around, they were telling us 15 more minutes, 15 more minutes. All so night. it was just, it was, we didn't get started again until about 9.30, I think. And the yeah. game ended up going till nearly 12. I know, personally, I left the game early, and I still didn't even get home until around like 11 o'clock that night. And yeah, that was a really busy night. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> they did get it back going though. And then once the lights were back on, um, Tony Noble did have some big breakthrough plays, but they couldn't really get the momentum back that they needed to win that game. And uh, we took the loss. We did. It was, it was, it was definitely interesting seeing how they broke through right at the beginning of when we started back up. But seeing how you could just tell the players were tired. They yeah. weren't. They just wanted to go home, you could tell. And it, it almost made you feel bad, but at the same time, we're here for football, so. Ooh. Yeah, the coaches did. You could tell they were trying to keep them warm on the sidelines, stretching mm -hmm. and stuff, trying to keep them awake. But, you know, you're out here so long, and you try to stay focused on what's to come, but that it just kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. Mm -hmm. And uh, Eventually, you start to lose focus, and it was, it was insane. But uh, while the power was out, there was so much entertainment. I mean, you had ban. Red line, cheer. I mean, everyone was just so hyped up for the game, even though the game wasn't even happening. Exactly. It was, it was incredible to see the school spirit that happened. Yeah, they all came out onto the field um, at separate parts. Uh, Red line came out here, cheer, and even the band um, came down there and did uh, some performances for us, and they are really spectacular. It was Color Guard who did their performance. I think band just stayed up in the okay, stands okay. and played the music. Yeah. yeah. It was, I loved seeing it. It was, it was very, uh, what's the word? I don't know how to explain it. It was a very school nice spirit. school spirit was school definitely spirit. the way to just yeah. the way to see it. But we also the crowd stayed pretty full for a good portion of the game until the lights went out a second time. But yeah, um, the game against El Dorado was very interesting, to say the least. I mean, we lost, but it was definitely a memorable night. Yeah, very eventful night. Yeah. And then we're going to talk to you about the game versus Magnolia last week, our first conference game. Uh, we lost 27 to 20. Pretty close game, but in the end, they just could not get the ground game going, only having 58 yards rushing, and uh, the offense just couldn't get going. Yeah, it was just, and for the most part, it was the little mistakes that kill, like killed us and like caused us to lose. I mean, penalties and um, turnovers were really what just got us like, yeah. put us under the. That's what caused. That's what put us behind. Yeah, throwing those two interceptions did not help, but I did hear that the defense played pretty good. And that was a, a bright spot to look yeah. at for our team. And uh, they kept us in that game. Um, only losing by a touchdown, that's not as bad as like not. it seems. But um, it was a rough game. Yeah. And uh, we're looking to bounce back this week with the second conference I hope game. we do. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing seeing how they how they progressed over the week, exactly. especially exactly. like look, fixing the, the tiny mistakes they made against Magnolia. So I'm looking forward to that. But next up, we have our guest interview and not with Anaya Arnold. So over to you, Elena and Jewel. Across its many Texas locations, Signature Care Emergency Center provides prompt, stress-free treatment for adult and pediatric medical emergencies, 24-7, 365 days a year. Signature Care Emergency Center emergency rooms are forward-thinking and physician-led, innovating new ways to treat patients promptly and, in most cases, keep them out of local hospitals. Learn more today about Signature Care Emergency Center. Your care is our signature. For location and services information, go to ercare24.com. 
Across its many Texas locations, Signature Care Emergency Center provides prompt, stress-free treatment for adult and pediatric medical emergencies, 24-7, 365 days a year. Signature Care Emergency Center emergency rooms are forward-thinking and physician-led, innovating new ways to treat patients promptly and, in most cases, keep them out of local hospitals. Learn more today about Signature Care Emergency Center. Your care is our signature. For location and services information, go to ERCare24.com. It's a revolution you can see and feel. A total redesign of the compact loader that started an industry. Made to up your game today and change how it gets done tomorrow. With next level performance, quality and comfort. Revolutionize your work in new R-Series loaders from Bobcat. It's Did you know that with the Arkansas Future Grant, students can qualify to earn over 25 degrees and certificates for free at the University of Arkansas Hope Texarkana? Our Future is the newest state grant program. The purpose of this grant is to increase the education and skills of Arkansas's workforce. The grant will cover tuition and fees for certificate and associate degree programs at UAHT. For more information and eligibility requirements, visit uaht.edu slash arfuture. Build your bridge to the future with the University of Arkansas Hope Texarkana. Our nursing program will get you ready to serve in a highly in-demand profession, all without going into debt. Register today at uaht.edu. Build your bridge to the future with the University of Arkansas Hope Texarkana. Our nursing program will get you ready to serve in a highly in-demand profession, all without going into debt. Register today at uaht.edu. Welcome back to the Hog Huddle. I'm Jewel Smart and this is Anaya Arnold. Unfortunately, Elena Black could not make it, so I'm handling this all on her own. So. Anaya Arnold is the first athlete class of 26 to receive an offer to play at the next next level she got a softball offer to Arkansas Tech and how do you feel about it first of all I want to give all honor to God I wouldn't be where I am without him but it's amazing it's honestly like I'm starstruck it's kind of overwhelming I've worked so hard to be here and it's the fact that I'm finally here just motivates me to work even more yes I'm so proud of you I mean we've been playing for like years together and whenever you told me about it I was so excited for you um, do you think that that's where you might want to play or are you thinking of other places right now I'm keeping all my options wide open it's just the beginning of my recruiting process so I'm just kind of feeling around going everywhere seeing where all I can grow to now you've played softball for basically all your life so how what helps you like what helps keep you motivated why do you love the game well softball is honestly so enjoyable I feel like I can just like go crazy and like scream yell all I want to and it's everybody's right there with me to scream and yell so I don't feel crazy I don't feel alone I always have people with me my dad's my coach and so him just being there on the field with me giving me assistance it's just such a great thing to have Speaking of your dad, besides on the field, because I know he's helped you a lot with practice, um, preparing for games, but how does he help you off the field in the mental aspect of things? Yes, he's always there for me whenever I need something. He's always providing. He's introduced me to God, which without God, I wouldn't be anything. 
So I'm just so thankful for him, and I can never thank him enough. Yes, we are also thankful for your dad because not only has he helped you, but he has helped a lot of um, other softball players, especially the ones at Arkansas High or that are about to join the upcoming students. So yeah, we we just we love it. Well, what what challenges have you faced with softball? Yes, um. My biggest challenge, I feel like, is finding my spot on the team because you have different roles on the team. You have the player that's just laid back but also doing their job. You have the leader of the team who's motivating everyone who's there. And so I've worked really hard to be that leader who motivates everybody. I want to push everybody to the best of their ability because I know how it feels to have somebody there for you. So just being able to be there for my team is all I want. So I'm... Um, gaining myself into that leadering role and it's become more effective each year. Yes, I can agree with that and I know a lot of other people can agree with that. Anytime your name gets mentioned, the first word that comes to mind is probably leadership. Um, but besides softball, like what else are what else are you working hard at or what else do you enjoy? Um, I really enjoy hanging out with you, my best friend. Jules like your my everything. Um, I go to church twice a week. <laughs> um, I love Disney movies, princess movies, the OG movies. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love OG movies. Um, I work hard in school. My grades are important. Student athlete for sure. But yeah. Okay, that's great. So let's talk about this upcoming season. I know we... We made it to state last year, but we, unfortunately, we ended up losing the first round. So, how how are you personally going to try to help motivate the team to work even harder than we did last year and push us to the point where we'll make it to state again and make it even farther? Yes, I'm going to push more into that leadership role and let everybody know somebody's there for them. I'm here for extra help if needed. I'm going to work harder myself so that I can keep pushing everybody else. Um, we're going to work on the things that we necessarily um, like struggled on last year, and we're going to build on those things. Our underclassmen, we're going to continue working with them even harder so we can keep uh, building a program. Yes, okay, so I think that's all my questions for you today. Thank you so much. Um, once again, I'm personally so proud of you. Thank I know you. everybody is really proud of you for this offer. And we can't wait to see you do great. Thank you. Thank you for everybody for their support. It's very much appreciated. Okay. Izzy and Miles, back to you. Across its many Texas locations, Signature Care Emergency Center provides prompt, stress-free treatment for adult and pediatric medical emergencies 24-7, 365 days a year. Signature Care Emergency Center emergency rooms are forward-thinking and physician-led, innovating new ways to treat patients promptly and, in most cases, keep them out of local hospitals. Learn more today about Signature Care Emergency Center. Your care is our signature. For location and services information, go to... can see and feel a total redesign of the compact loader that started an industry made to up your game today and change how it gets done tomorrow with next level performance quality and comfort revolutionize your work in new R series loaders from Bobcat Welcome back 
back to Hog Huddle. Thank you, Jewel, and thank you, Anaya. We, we love the interview. So. Yeah, it was really good. Thank you guys so much. All right, so now we're going to dive into what our expectations for tonight's game is. Of course, we always expect to win, but overall, we just want to see more improvement from, from our guys tonight. So, yeah. of course, we, we're looking forward to that. And no power outage tonight. We do not want a power outage tonight. That yeah. Cannot That's, happen again. It cannot happen again. <laughs> that would be disastrous, and I don't know how I would do it again, honestly. I, I would really like to be home by around 11. By around 11. 11 a decent time. Yeah, 11 yeah. a good time, <laughs> so I, I, I'm really going to enjoy that. Um, so next we want to get into um, key players to watch, and first off we want to point out Rodney Kinley, number 10. you have anything to say? Oh, man, he's a really good defensive player. He's averaging 9.3 tackles a game, which is a lot. Um, at linebacker, and he has two sacks on the season. Great defensive player, and uh, you're definitely going to want to watch him tonight. Um, number 20, that's who you should be looking out for. And uh, I guarantee you that uh, his name will be called a lot tonight. Yeah, yeah. And we also want to look at Gabriel Braggs. That's number eight tonight. As our wide receiver, uh, averaging 53 yards a game on the season and uh, having two touchdowns so far as well this season. Uh, being a big receiver for us, another quarterback is going to be looking for him tonight after um, all the plays that he's made so far. And he is also one of those key players to watch tonight. And mm -hmm. They're one yeah. of the key players you want to watch almost every night. It's, I love seeing them play, and I'm looking forward to seeing their game tonight. So, Real um, superstars out there. I'm real, I'm real looking forward. I'm hyped up for, for – oh, I'm sorry. I got scared. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to, the, to tonight's game. So I'm – I'm excited, to yeah. say the least. Tonight should be really fun. We're looking to get that first conference win. And, um, you know, that would really help us tonight if we got that win and uh, got the <laughs> momentum going. Um, yeah. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in to Hog Huddle. We, we, all, we look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Isabel Labrada. And I'm Miles West. Let's go, Hogs.